Hey everyone, Tim here, and I'm still at the Weck Method Lab, and I thought I'd take the opportunity while I'm here with the main man, David Weck, to ask him for three of his three number one tips for you for starting rope flow. Number one tip, David, what direct. All right, the first tip that I'm going to teach you is getting on beat. The second tip will be relating to gait locomotion. And the third is how you implement this within your training program. So the very first thing that we like to do is we want to teach you how to roll the rope underhand and get on beat. If we're doing a jump rope, the feet are lifting while the hands goes down. That's called syncopated beat. With rope flow, we have the beat, the beat, the beat. We want everything going to that beat. So you want to time it with the beat. That's your first step. Your second step is to learn how to do an underhand pattern with both hands where you're shifting your weight, shifting your weight, and then you're gonna put locomotion into it. You can go forward, you can go backward, it's the side that you're on is getting the beat, and it gives you beat, and it gives you balance, so you have that perfect transfer of weight. Now, how you're going to implement this into your exercise program is don't let this hijack your workout. This is the mortar in between the bricks that is your workout. So if, let's say you're doing squats and rows and something else. Do your exercise and in your recovery. So let's say you're resting 90 seconds. 30 seconds with the rope just to get the patterning with that first step and the second step is going to Put it in your body so that you will get to the point where now you have the coordination to make rope flow very aggressive, very, very boom, 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 boom. A big work set because you built your foundation. So you've got high intensity exercise once you've earned it and you're getting the coordination and integration of the ultimate training modality for human beings to become globally the best mover that you could possibly be. Oh, thanks David. <laughs> I'll leave it there. Oh, great. <laughs> we begin with the spine focused foundations for the first two weeks. Then we add more complex arm patterns.